What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, episode number 45, I do believe. I could be wrong about that. Just, uh, if, if I'm wrong, then, then F me, Brad. But anyways, guys, this is the show where we, uh, showcase, you know, just putting figures together, taking them apart, doing some customization with our WWE Action Figures, and on the show, we do fix up so you don't have to. If you don't like the way it looks, then you're like, yeah, I was thinking about doing that, and I'm gonna do that now, or whatever the hell. And today, we're gonna experiment with a few things things and uh, I'm actually kind of worried about one I think one of them is going to look dumb as hell and then a couple of them may not work out but you know what Brad I, I, I crashed my brain together and we got some stuff coming I think we have a new episode of Thinking Outside the Box dropping in the morning so definitely turn on your bell for notifications because we got Thinking Outside the Box tomorrow action figure surgery today all kinds of good stuff so as I say guys we are going to be experimenting today and you guys know how we always start action figure surgery we always talk about the things we're going to be doing on the surgery before we actually go through with the surgery so before we even dive into it guys I do want to showcase this Daniel Bryan right here now this is something that I did for my was it was it elimination chamber I think it was I, I made this fix up for my elimination chamber review and basically what this is is the battle pack with Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan is that who comes in the battle pack I think that's the two guys that come in the battle pack um I could be wrong about that but I want to say it was the Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon battle pack from a while back it has this pretty much identical to what Daniel Bryan looks like to current day in that battle pack you have this smiley head scan and I just threw it on his elimination Elite Series 73 figure because he's pretty much wearing this attire except it has blue on it so it's pretty much an updated Daniel Bryan so if you want to make an updated Daniel Bryan really easy way to do that is take that battle pack head scan and put it on your Elite 73 Daniel Bryan figure. Now outside of that guys I did want to showcase this before we dive into the surgery because it's a very easy fix up. One thing I will say though is that the head of the Elite 73 Daniel Bryan the peg hole is very small so when you heat that up I would probably use hot water or I would make sure that you get that thing loosey goosey and grip it near the top because if you you know you try to get all loosey-goosey with it you will snap that neck peg just just want to be careful there so there's our Daniel Bryan next up guys we are going to be doing something I think I saw hero do it first I, I could be wrong I don't know who exactly did it first but pretty much you just take your camo pants from your Tommaso Ciampa and you just put it on your Sami Zayn because that's pretty much what he looks like now on television so uh, I did want to give credit where I saw it and uh, there you go so we are going to do this we're just going to slide these pants on here and that will be that uh, I guess we can go ahead and knock the that out right quick before we even carry on. I don't know if I want to put the fly on the back or the front because I know when you put it on the back it made the chompa, it like made the pants fit the chompa even better so we'll just see how that goes. So if you point the boots down probably be a lot easier to get on there and then you just pull them up like you're putting pants on your toddler or yourself you know. Probably be better if I took the knee pads off Brad but we're too far now. I mean it's it's too far gone you know. We're, we're too invested now. I can't turn back now. Gotta just go with it so here we are and then we're gonna pull these hoes up and there you have it. Updated Sammy Zane are pretty damn close to it. His pants aren't just like this, but they very are, are they are very similar. So there's your Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn. If you want to do that, it uh, it works out pretty good. So uh, I had a bunch of these laying around, so I figured just throw them on there. Can't sit a little plaid on the back, but I'm not going to crucify him for it. So there you go, Sami Zayn, very easy to do. Next up, guys, what we're going to be doing is taking this other Sami Zayn. Now, I don't know where this fix up came from in my brain, but I can't stand this James Ellsworth figure. So what I'm going to do is just remove these red boots and put them on this Sami Zayn. I don't know. I feel like it looked pretty badassery, and uh, the red will flow good with the black laces, so I am just going to boot swap those, and I need to get a new Ellsworth. They have like 72 of them at my big lots. I need to go pick up a couple of them just to have them, um, because I just don't like the figure. I, I don't know. It's just not very good. Next up, guys, we are going to be doing some boot swaps with the Kevin Owens. Now, if you guys can see the boots right here, you probably already know what we're going to do. Since I already have a couple of these Kevin Owens, I want to switch them up a little bit, see what we can get going. Now, I'm going to take these red Ric Flair boots and put them on this Elite 50 three Kevin Owens instead of the kick pads and then I'm going to take my Elite 66 Kevin Owens and put on the blue and white boots to see what that looks like and I don't know why I just want to kind of see what it looks like you know so we're going to switch those right there see what it looks like it may look god awful it may look great so we're just going to find out together on that one and that is another fix up we're going to be doing so we'll do those boot swaps should be relatively easy another thing we're going to do is we're going to take my Bobby Trashley and we are going to paint the boots because if you guys remember on the last episode we had these boot chipping and stuff going on right here that I don't appreciate. So we're going to fill in all this white right here with black and then seal that up to make sure... Uh... 
We are going to fill in all of that so that obviously we don't see that white chipping coming through anymore and it'll make the boots look a lot cleaner. Really like that Bobby Trashley fix up, man. Looks pretty badassery. So we are going to be doing that and we're going to seal it up with our matte Mod Podge over here. So that's another fix up we got going on. And then finally, also this is the paint we use. Citadel Air Black. That's the best right there. Citadel Air God Tier. And then finally, guys, we're going to do a dumbass fix up that's going to be stupid. It's not even going to look good. I don't even know why the hell I'm attempting it. But we're going to switch the lower legs of this Seth Rollins right here. This Elite 75 Seth Rollins. We're going to switch the lower legs of this Seth Rollins with this Kofi. And we are going to put the lower legs and kick pads of this Kofi onto this Rollins. And I know it's going to look dumb as hell, but we're going to do it anyway. And I thought about fixing up the arms to change these arms out for white uh, wrist tape arms or Elite 45 Rollins arms. But then I realized that the kick pads will still have the black on there so it should match up with the wrist tape still like this attire does so uh yeah we're, we're gonna do that man we're we're gonna do it and it may look god awful again it may look stupid as hell but we're gonna attempt it anyways and that is everything we're gonna do here on action figure surgery guys so what we're gonna do is go ahead and get started i'm gonna slide everything back get the trusty white hair dryer and conduct this football surgery right here so i guess what we can do first guys is uh i guess uh, let's go ahead and just do all the boot swaps right i feel like the boot swap shouldn't be that hard to do. I don't know if we'll get them all together. Now, that would be nutty if we could get them all three together, but uh, let's just go ahead and try it out. We're going to get our Elite 66, our Elite 53, and our Sami Zayn all stacked on top of each other right here, and I guess we might as well put James Ellsworth in the fray, too, and just kind of put these here, and we're just going to heat up all these freaking boots, and if we can conduct all three boot swaps at once, that will be absolutely fantastic, but uh, you know, we always try to challenge ourselves here on Action Figure Surgery. We always attempt to try and get everything thing in one go. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not, but uh, you know what, Brad? We gotta, you gotta risk it to get the biscuit around here. So we're gonna take the Wusty, I said the Wusty trite hair dryer, I meant the trusty white hair dryer, and we're going to uh, go ahead and slap this hoe right in the titties and uh, heat it up and see if it'll work out, but uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. Alright guys, here we go. We're going to attempt to get all this in one take. Again, it may not work out, but we're going to attempt it anyway. Okay, this Sammy boot is wanting to be a hobo in, in the middle of the July weather and the, and the stuff, but uh, golly, woo! Alright, got that off. Now we're going to attempt the other boot. Got that off. Now we're going to go ahead and do Ellsworth since we're right here. And good God in heaven, Ellsworth is hot as fire freaking nasty. Alright, we got that on there. Got the red on there. Okay, now Sammy Zane is done. Good God, it came at the cost of my index finger. Um, we're going to go ahead and just stick these boots onto Ellsworth because you know what, Brad? You know what, Brad? Golly, I can't get this left one on. F it. Next up, guys, we're going to go over to the Elite 66 KO. We got the one kick pad, the other kick pad. Now we go to the boots. Got the one blue boot. And go! All right, we got Kevin Owens on there. Now we're going to move on to the red version. So we're going to have two different versions there. This one was the furthest, but we still got it off regardless. And again, I wouldn't do this if this was my only Elite Kevin Owens. But since I have, you know, two or three or four of each of those figures, um, I don't mind, you know, switching them out, experimenting a little bit, seeing what's going on with them. So uh, we switched that. We got the Kevin Owens finished. We got the James and Sami Zayn's finished. Now all we have to do is move on to our Bobby Trashley because we already did our Daniel Bryan. Brian, right? So, uh, there's our pile right there. You guys remember the old challenge that we had? Um, I doubt we'll have anything left over, really, because, you know, I mean, we have James right there, but we already did Daniel Bryan. We already did Sami Zayn with the camo pants right there. And now, uh, should we wait to do Rollins to the end? We should probably, let's just go ahead and do Trashley first. We'll go ahead and knock out Trashley's paint, and then, uh, we will move on to Rollins and Kofi. So, here we got the Citadel Air Black, and then we have the White Mod Pod. So, I'm just gonna zoom in, try my best to get this on camera for you guys and uh, paint up this trashly.
All right, guys, so here are the boots all completely finished. You guys can see that we definitely got all of those white specks or the chipping, I should say, off of there. And, you know, I probably won't use this in pick fetting or anything like that. So this will probably just be a display piece. So it shouldn't ever chip. If it ever does, I can easily just repaint it or anything like that. But I think it looks a lot cleaner. And I think the Mod Podge, the matte Mod Podge is still drying a little bit. You can see some little bubbling a little bit, I think. But uh, it makes it look a little bit more clean. It, looks, it makes it look a little bit more finished, like it's got, like, leather on it, like the actual boots do. So I like the official look it gives it but uh, we'll take a closer look at this Lashley at the end he will go into our pile that's already finished over here with our KOs and ish like that but now we're on to our final bit of business on this episode of action figure surgery which is going to be the lower legs and kick pads of this Rollins and Kofi which again I think is going to look stupid as hell but we're going to try it anyway just because uh, I don't know I like to get creative on here I like to try some crazy things on this on this show so uh, F it man we're going to go for it and if it looks dumb it looks dumb if it looks baller it looks baller I can always fix it if I hate it and I can and always just burn it and then you burn it down Brad All right, guys, again, here we go. It may look terrible, but we're just going to attempt it anyways. Uh, I am going to switch the orange lower legs on there because these actually have different kick pads. The Kofi actually has the AJ Styles uh, form of kick pads, and then the Rollins has the Rollins style. So they are two different styles. Um, I really don't know why Mattel does that. I'm not sure why exactly they, you know, flip back and forth between the styles. Um, I'm not sure if it has, like, a height issue or what, but uh, I kind of want to leave the white peg in there. I feel like the white peg would actually work better because he does have that stripe going down but then again I don't want to mess it up you know what we're gonna we're gonna move the uh, the pegs out of there and I can always put these on a different figure or something again we're just spitballing we're just throwing shit at the wall seeing what sticks and just kind of going based off that but uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get this on here it may not work or it'll work I just got to get it on there uh, that lower leg just didn't get heated up like I wanted but I think I should be able to get it or if not I'm very very close golly that didn't really get heated up that much but uh, we'll go over here to this side and just kind of stick this on here and see what we got going on all right we got that lower leg and then golly in heaven and mighty earth all right we got them both Woo. All right, guys, well, it's on there, and I guess you guys will see what this ish looks like in the next segment of the video. Let this cool off a little bit first. But all right, guys, now it is time to take a look at everything we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 45. All right, guys, so taking a look at everything, we're going to show off Rollins at the very end. I want to let his legs cool off a little bit longer. But as you guys can see, we do have the Sami Zayn with the boot swap, and it looks all right. I want to say I saw AFW animations or, or somebody on Instagram I saw do this is why the idea popped in my head. I cannot remember. I want to say it's AFW if, if that is true. Shout out to you, bro, because uh, this looks fire. I like it. I don't know what it is. I really enjoy it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, one thing I will say is I wish his tape was either black or red, maybe. That would make it even better. But overall, I really like it. I think it stands out pretty good, and Sami Zayn's just a beast mode. So uh, this this looks great to me. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. We obviously have our Daniel Bryan that we already took a look at. We already knew what this was and everything like that, how that would pan out. Here is the Sami Zayn, which is an updated Sami Zayn. This is his most current Elite with the Elite 63. We did put the uh, the hand tape on there because that is not how we came because when he's a heel, he wears that for some reason. Uh, we did put the Elite 69 Chompa pants on there, which I did get the idea of from Hero, so shout out to you, bro, for that. And uh, I think it looks pretty good, pretty genius idea. It's not completely accurate, but I think it looks close enough at least. Um, and then we also have the Bobby Lashley figure, which we did touch up the boots, and it looks 100 times better. We did this on the last episode. If you guys want to see us construct this Bobby Lashley, go watch episode number 44, where we uh, completely, like, Frankenstein this guy together, and it, it came together beautifully. Way to go right there. Then we have our two different versions of KO. Now, I really don't know how to feel about this. Um, I thought it would look a little bit better than it does. Um, they don't look terrible. They just look odd. I don't know. It just kind of looks out of place or something. I don't know. I feel like it would look better if the boots were black with blue laces and then white outsole or just full black boots with blue laces or the vice versa with the red. I, I, I don't know. I just feel like the blue and red just kind of pops off too much maybe. I don't know what it is. Let me know what you think down below. I think I like the blue version better because the arms, these arms kind of throw me off or something. But uh, I definitely like the blue Elite 66 version better than the red. But I don't know. I'm going to leave it like this for a little bit. Just kind of play around with it. Fart in a bag and smell it and just kind of see, you know, how it goes. But that is not all we got, guys. We have the two different... Oh, God. We have the two different versions of KO, but then we have our Seth Rollins that we're going to take a look at. And I want to know your guys' honest opinion on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it right here. 
in three, two, one, the big old reveal of the Rollins, and here it is. And honestly, I don't know how to feel about it. I really feel that, like, if you guys want to see, like, a height comparison between this and the regular Elite 75, I don't think it made him that much taller. Like, it really didn't. Like, he's pretty much the same exact height. And uh, if he had that head sculpt, he'd probably look a little bit different. But anyways, um, I don't know, man. That, that doesn't look too bad it's like i don't know I, I really don't know how to feel about it the orange isn't too far off especially from like far away i think it looks okay i really don't think it looks that bad though i would love to know what you think down in the comment section below though it might be fun to just pose around again since i had an extra at least 75 i was like you know what brad this is why i order multiples of figures just to again just try stuff out see how it goes and if it looks dumb it looks dumb and if i like it then you have a really fire fix up that you can use you know you don't always want to use the regular elite 75 you can use this fix up right here so let me know what you think down in the comment section <laughs> let me know what you think down in the comment section below guys i would really appreciate that but uh that is going to do it for this episode of surgery again let me know what you think of the rollins i think it looks okay you know it's nothing too crazy uh but i really do like the saturation and the brightness of the orange down in the kick pads really good uh contrast right there again it looks better i think from far away like when you look at it it looks like, ah, eh, but then when you look at it full body, it's like, oh, snap. It kind of looks pretty damn awesome. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below, and uh, that is going to do it for this episode of Surgery, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.